What's up? Or? Well, I kind of took that guy's walk off. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. I figured if he had a radio, there must be somebody on the other end. So you robbed a dead guy. Do you expect his friends to help us out? Wait, who says they're his friends? I mean, maybe they didn't even really like the guy. Dad? Dad, are you there? down to Spencer's Mill? Some of us are holed up at the church. If your friend doesn't look too dicey, we'll let you in. Church and Spencer's So much for getting across here. Great, so we're stuck up here playing cannibal family picnic until somebody bothers to come looking for us? Maybe not. Let's head down the bank. Might be a place for us to cross on foot. Can't do that right now. Better deal with this first. We're headed your way. You said you were holed up in a church? What the hell's happening around here? You haven't heard? Better deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> no cell reception up at the lake. Guess you could say we've been out of the... 
Hold on. No cell reception up at the lake. Guess you could say we've been out of the loop. All we know is a bunch of crazy people tried to eat us. It started what? Hold up. Let's take care of this first. Where were we? It started what? 12, 13 days ago? At first it was just weird stories on the news. Random maulings, violent incidents at hospitals, black helicopters in the sky. Just strange stuff. I guess they were trying to keep it quiet. But that didn't last too long. People figured it out pretty quick. People who die, they don't stay dead. They come back as one of those things. I told you. Better deal with this first. You were saying? I told you that guy was dead. Seems like the only way to stop them for good is with a shot to the head. Anything else, they just keep coming. I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of messed up super virus. Maybe it's radiation from outer space, or black magic, or or the wrath of almighty frickin' God. Your guess is as good as mine. So wait a minute. What's the government's response to all this? Haven't they sent in the National Guard or something? The government? You don't get it. It's been total chaos. At first, they told us just to stay home, lock our doors, and wait for the all clear. Then the power died. No one ever sounded the all clear. Better do one more sweep. Make sure everything's clear. end up on this frequency? Just lucky, I guess. It was pretty chaotic up at the lake. You're not gonna tell her? I don't know yet. Dude, it's her dad! You wanna confess that we killed her father and stole his radio before they patch you up? Yeah, okay, maybe, maybe we leave that part out. Watch behind him. <laughs> <laughs>
Lily, do you invite these strangers? I'm good. You made it. That one doesn't look so good. Name's Ed. Pleased to meet you. Come with me, son. We'll see to those. God ones. damn it! We got enough trouble without bringing in another freeloader to use up all our medicine. Real nice, Alan. I offered them shelter. I'm letting them in. Us freeloaders have to stick together. Girl's got the common sense God gave a tree stump. You're worse than your brother. Come on. I'll give you the nickel tour. I spend most of my time here, using the radio to coordinate everyone. Next up's the kitchen. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but... Well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously, though. Rule number one, all the food stays in here and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger. But my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build, like, a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think, and haven't heard from them in a while. We may have something here for the pain, but could be a sign of infection. To get Dr. Hansen out of here. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Thanks, I, uh, I appreciate the hospitality. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. How about that? I might be an angel. What's our sit rep? What's up? What's the good word? What's up? That won't work. God bless. I didn't want to say this in front of your friend, but fever is a bad sign, especially after a bite. Pastor Will's going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. If it comes to that, I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily, he's not a rabid dog. Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet ya. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... <sighs> okay, look. We're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. We don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. What if I find some more? Will that pay our rent? <sighs> yeah, okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. I know. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Nobody minds for getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. Wait, what? There's a cell tower behind the swine and bovine. From up there, you should be able to get a good look at the town. 
and maybe you'll spot some place to find medicine. Appreciate it. Just hurry, okay? I'm not sure how long I can rain out on it. Son of a bitch. Can't trust anybody to know their shit around here these days. I'm cool with that. If we don't get some more food soon, we're gonna start having riots. It's reckless, is all I'm saying. Run from the family. Jacob and Thomas are both AWOL. <laughs> this isn't the first time. Those two are gonna get themselves killed one of these days. Jake wouldn't be much of a loss, but Thomas is pretty good with that revolver. You're a cold-hearted son of a bitch, you know that? Hold hands and see Kumbaya is meant to keep us alive. Folks around here ought to remember that.
Can't do that right now. to me we don't know squat wait what I mean when it comes to long-term survival like I've got my dad's old notebooks and I'm sure some people here have at least worked on a farm but if we had reference material we could do a whole lot more what happened well since we don't have the internet anymore I'm thinking we should start assembling a reference library books on gardening electrical engineering carpentry anything we can get our hands on well, we got to start somewhere right This is bad. This is really fucking bad. I'm cool with that. Maybe if we weren't down to an expired bottle of baby aspirin and a case of cough syrup, we wouldn't have so many sick people. Fuck, how you been? Fuck, how you been? How did you all end up at the church anyways? Geez, I don't know. At first it just seemed like the place to go, you know? End of the world and all that. Then we started hearing about how bad it was getting. Other people tried to go it alone and ended up... Well, we just sort of stayed here after that. Just the six of you? No. There used to be twelve of us. Good sight lines up there. What's that? Looks like a vet's office or something. Oh yeah, Dr. Gilroy's clinic. What about it? 
Well, antibiotics for dogs aren't any different than antibiotics for people. And it looks like no one's broken in. Huh, that's a good idea. Okay, sounds like it's worth checking out. I'm picking something up. We've had enough of being on our own. We'd love to join you if you'll have us. You might want to go check it out. I'm sending Alan and Sam to meet you at the clinic. Alan? Gee, thanks. It was that, or let him stay here and keep grumbling about kicking you and Ed out. Point. Marcus didn't join us until pretty late in this whole thing, but right from the beginning he was one of us. He really cared, not just about surviving, but about doing the right thing. I wish I'd gotten to know him better.